It's time for our player profile segment. Remember, this week and every week, the player profile segment is brought to you by FM Bank, where they never let go of the rope. FM Bank, a proud sponsor of Ragin' Cajun Broadcasts. This week, we focus on senior defensive lineman, Ragin' Cajun, Christian Ringo. And it's uh, Christian Ringo that got the, the, the sack and the fumble recovery. Big Christian did a nice job of getting the ball out of there. Before he was sacking quarterback and stripping the ball on defense, Christian Ringo didn't exactly play organized football. His first football memory as well brings him back to a time when he was younger in Jackson, Mississippi, playing ball with his two brothers using a football and bed. I never played on an organized team until I was 12, but when me and my brother was younger, we used to put the matches on the floor. I used to get my dad old football clothes, put them on, get a little towel, try to swag it out. We used to just, me, me and my brother used to just tackle each other. That's where it started at. And that's where the love went. Ringo's favorite position to pretend to play was running back, but when he was a young kid, while he wanted the ball in his hands, he was pretty honest with himself about what position he should play on the field. Running back? No, no, no. I was I ain't gonna lie, I was heavy set when I was little, but I always wanted the ball in my hand. That's my dream position. So Christian eventually found his way to the defensive line, the same position his father Henry played in college. Well actually, you know, my dad played the same position in college. So, you know, at first I started off as an old lineman my ninth grade year in high school and it's like transitioned my tenth grade year and I just got better at it. So I just went with D line. In some way the game of football has evolved since Christian's dad played college ball. However, it didn't keep Ringo's father from giving him a couple of basic tips. Just, you know, he just tell me just stay low, basically. The basics, you know, what he did, you know, the game has changed a lot since he played, you know. But he just basically tell me stay low, you know, use my hands and, you know, drive. Ringo shined in high school, starting all four years and making second team all state by the Mississippi Coaches Association as a senior at Forest Hill High. But at what point did Christian realize he could play at the next level. I probably had to have in my 10th grade year. A lot of people say I'll have like half potential, you know, and I just, I was like, okay. <laughs> and I just kept playing in 11th grade year. I really had a good season in my senior year. I just really broke out. I was trying to get like some big offers my senior year. Offers began to come in the mail. And for Christian Ringo, it was somewhat surreal. Having played football on mattresses in his dad's old uniform with his brothers, seeing a college scholarship offer, well, yeah, that's that's a big process. You know, it's just basically just staying humble and thanking God for the opportunities he gave me. Ultimately, Christian decided to attend the University of Louisiana. Coach Hud's recruiting process paid off when he caught himself a big fish. Coach Hud first got here. He, uh, you know, he's from Mississippi, so he just I got a matter of fact, I got a call in January. You know, so I was like, I just got to take that visit and see how it was, and he reeled me in. It didn't take long for Christian to become entrenched in the Cajun defense. As a freshman, he saw action in eight games on the defensive line and on special teams, making plays and being part of a New Orleans Bowl championship. His sophomore season, he was a key member of the defensive line, starting in seven games and playing in every one. But for Ringo, that transition to his sophomore year came from learning a lot from the guys ahead of him his freshman year. Like my freshman year, we had I had got learned a lot from Derek Dean and you know Terrell Gaddis and all of them. They they kind of coached me up and just making that transition my sophomore year. You know, like I said, they threw me in the fire and uh, I was able to do you know a little something. Sometimes big players on the defensive line can be called run stuffers, players who tend to not get after the quarterback. You can't say that about Christian Ringo. He's had a number of sacks since he stepped foot on campus, finishing second in the Sun Belt in that category in 2012. Already with a sack under his belt this year, Christian doesn't mind when folks refer to him as a pass rush specialist. I think that's a compliment, to be honest, because, <laughs> you know, me, I'm a big power guy, and when they say pass rush specialist, that, that just, I, I appreciate it. With one-third of his senior season already in the rearview mirror, Christian Ringo isn't hoping this senior year flies by. As he puts it, he soaks up each and every moment. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm taking. I'm, I'm trying to let it go by slow as possible. I'm taking every little thing, every period, every practice, every game. I just want it to go by slow. I'm trying to soak it all in because I know this is my last round. And that's it. <laughs> one thing Christian's enjoying about his senior year is more time with his good friend, Justin Hamilton. He and Chus, as Justin's nickname, spend plenty of time together. 
and it dates back to their high school days in Mississippi. Man, me and Juice clicked when I first met him. We, uh, we was at this little combine our sophomore year in high school. And, uh, from then, we've been clicking. Then the transition, he was he threw the shot put in track, and he'd come to Jackson every now and then and throw the shot put. And the transition, we uh, end up, I seen you, we ended up playing the All-Star, Alabama, Mississippi versus Alabama All-Star game together. And he was my sweet mate, you know what I'm saying? So, me and Juice been click tight since then. <laughs> Once his playing days are over, some might speculate that Christian would return home to Jackson, Mississippi. But when you ask Ringo about his hometown, he talks more glowingly about his new adopted hometown of Lafayette, Louisiana. No, I don't miss Jackson. Jackson, you know, it used to have a good rep, but it's kind of went down south. You know, like, Jackson's not really just not a good place, you know, for kids to grow up for is the mindsets, because people stuck, it's like Jackson with the mindset, they stuck in a box, like, it's more, when people like kids need to know there's more than Jackson, Mississippi out here, you know. And I came to Lafayette, you know, Lafayette is the perfect city for me. I love it in Lafayette. Thanks to the sport of football and a scholarship at the University of Louisiana, Christian Ringo was able to get away from his hometown and create new roots here. Looking at my uh, older brother, looking at my older siblings, and seeing how they like turn out by staying in Jackson, it ain't always go the way it's planned. So I'm like, my first ticket out, I need to make something out myself because I don't want to return back to Jackson. For a man of his size and stature, Christian Ringo is quick on his feet, something that helps him on the football field and on the dance floor. Nominated for Best Dancer his freshman year at UL, many might not know he's got some of the best moves on the football team. I can dance a little bit. Yeah, yeah I'm known for my little moves. I got a, I got a few of them, you know. I can do, I can do a little something, something. It depends on what kind of beat it is. Raging Cajun senior defensive lineman, Christian Ringo. That's your player profile segment brought to you by FM Bank, where they never let go of the rope. FM Bank, a proud supporter of Raging Cajun Broadcasts.